Well, it is a beautiful day here. Lots of sunshine outside. Look at the beautiful blue skies, but temperatures a bit more mild today. Yesterday it was chilly. Now we are warming up through the 60s, so already much warmer than where we were yesterday. It's 66 degrees at the airport. Same for Bell Chase, 64 at the lakefront, 65 up in Bogalusa and over in Gulfport. Overall today, highs will be in the upper 60s, and a few of you will get into the lower 70s as well. Anywhere from around 67 to 71 degrees, it will be a mostly sunny day with a light breeze out there. It's up to 15 miles an hour at times. Overall today, yes, highs get near 70, and then this evening we drop back through the 60s. On the south shore, it'll take a while to get through the 60s until we eventually fall down into the 50s. On the north shore, you're going to be in the 50s, quickly drop down through the 60s, and then arrive in the 50s overnight. So when it comes to our overnight lows, we're going to be anywhere from around 50 to 61 degrees. Mostly clear out there, and it is a chilly night, but it's not as cold as it was this morning or the morning before that. Again, light breeze around 5 to 10 miles an hour. On our Wednesday, we're going to continue to warm up and be on either side of 80 degrees for some of you. So it will be mostly sunny out there and it will be warm. Yesterday was chilly, today mild, I'm calling it, and tomorrow warm. It actually might be a little bit more humid to some of you as well. And if you don't notice the humidity tomorrow, I think you will notice it on Thursday. So again, today highs near 70, tomorrow near 80, a 10 degree jump again tomorrow. And then we're gonna continue to warm up into the 80s all the way through Friday. But with the wind starting to shift and come out of the south, it's going to pull more of that warm, moist air from the Gulf into our area, and that will make it feel more humid as we continue to warm up. Now on Friday, that is our next best chance for rain. It really arrives overnight Friday night. So on Thursday, I'm not going to rule out an isolated shower, especially with that southerly flow, but I think we stay dry today and tomorrow. Then on Friday, there's a 30% chance of rain during the day out ahead of our next storm system, which will arrive overnight Friday night into early Saturday morning morning and that will bring the potential for severe weather. So right now the Storm Prediction Center has highlighted the North Shore and Pearl River County under a risk of severe weather. Tomorrow this will likely become what we call a slight risk. That is a level two risk out of five. So you can see here two out of five. It's still fairly low, but it's not zero. Something we're watching closely and also tomorrow parts of the South Shore will likely be included in that level one marginal risk. So again, there is a risk of severe weather Friday night something we are watching closely and we'll make sure to keep you updated on that as Friday approaches. Here's the setup of that. Again, during the day Friday, mostly dry, a few showers out there, and then the front moves through Friday night into Saturday morning, bringing rain and thunderstorms. That front will pass on through, leaving us with a nice Saturday, but I'm not ex expecting a significant drop in temperatures. And a warm front then lifts north on Sunday, bringing more rain with it and more of that warm air. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. Notice how we continue to warm up into the middle 80s by Friday. And on Saturday, I still think a lot of us will stay in the low 80s. More rain on the way Sunday and Monday. All right, Lee, thank you so much.